Hello guys. How has your week been? Well, yangu baridi jo. It's been too cold yani. Well, I think it's that season of the month when people get married and babies are made. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Rumidia. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate uh, for e for everyone who supports us. So what have you been guys doing uh, this week? Some of us have been to Dubai to see Baba. Others have been telling us what uh, goes around church and show before a comedian gets a, a slot in the show. And others have been to Igembe to attend a burial. Um, may the soul, the soul of that guy rest in peace. What have you been doing yourself? Ama wewe ni wale wakungoja mutahi kago. In the last 24 hours, we have tested 247 samples. Out of those, 102 turned positive. 60 are males, while 58 are females. You can get it. I can get it. Everyone can get it. <laughs> I quote. Yes, thank you so much. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Today we're going to talk about a few things that happened this week and uh, see what people have been up to. guy called Zakayo Mibwe. Zakayo passed away in the past week at the age of 99 years old. May his soul rest in peace. This was a man and a half guys. This guy had 10 wives, 24 children, and more than 200 great grand, uh, more than 200 grandchildren and great grandchildren. And that's according to the eulogy. There are claims that he had more than that. Now, with the government's regulations that no more than 15 people should attend a burial, this family was in a dilemma. However, they managed to go through the dilemma holding the ceremony with only family members attending the burial. The police came, they watched helplessly, and anyway, understandably so, because what could they do? And due to the size of the compound, social distancing was not possible. And uh, as someone once said, like father, like son, did you know that some of his Mr. Some of his of, of Mr. Mibu's sons have taken after him? For example, his sixty-two year old son called Isaiah has ten wives. Is it ten? Has four wives, and. Uh, a lot of children, I think 36, and over 200 grandchildren and great-grandchildren at 62. What is your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather doing at 62? <laughs> How many are you in your family? Well, uh, my grandma has three great-grandchildren, around five to ten grandchildren, five kids. And if 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 the bigger the family you had, the more money or the wealthy you had, I I would say that my grandmother would be very poor. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is, and that is life. It seems like these people came to the world to do what God asked um, Adam and Eve to do: go and fill the world. Um, I I say that some of us went to Dubai to see Baba. On Thursday afternoon, Governor Joho and his close friend Zunet Mohammed dropped everything that they had and hopped on a lavish Airbus A318 private jet. The two, in a series of photos shared on Zunet Mohammed's Twitter account, were on their way to visit ODM leader Raila Odinga, who recently underwent a corrective nerve surgery. Guys, get this. The super mid-sized jet, like the two were riding on, an Airbus 318 to be exact, would set your bank account a cool half a million to 1.2 million shillings each hour 
according to Paramount Business. A Paramount Business is a private jet charter, uh, a private jet charter company. But anyway, that aside, did you see the brown handbag beneath the, the, the table where they were seated? You can see on the photo somewhere here. Well, the observation came from Hawkeye Kenyan uh, Twitter users moments after the two politicians announced they were headed to Dubai. Some people claim that the, the handbag belongs to Betty Kialo. Oh, my Betty. Why, why, guys? Betty did not go to Dubai. Yes, I was with her, so... <laughs> but, she post, but Betty Kialo posted a series of videos, of videos on her Instagram account where she refuted the claims saying that she was not in Dubai. She said, she said that she was with a friend going to have Nyamachoma. I'm a roast meat for those in diaspora. So what did I tell you? Betty was with her friend having Nyamachoma. Do you know who that friend is? Aturingi lakini maze. Lames maze, lames. Tanasha Donna. Yani ama exwa diamond. Ama tumuiti aje maze. Anyway, Tanasha Donna. What are these? What are these? So, Tanasha Donna turned 25 the other day. Yes, 25. At 25, Tanasha has a baby, has dated a superstar, has a house of her own, and is a and is a celebrity. She is a celebrity. Wow. What are you at 25? Aki guy. Boy. At 25. <laughs> at 25, I was still discovering myself. Like in life too, and life is not a marathon. Don't worry, guys. And like last year, when Tanasha had an opulent birthday party hosted by Diamond Platinums, this year's birthday was a low-key event. There are claims that people came with their drinks, waited for Tanasha who came later, and get this with beer cans. She claims the main event is coming, is it? I don't know. But anyway, happy birthday, Tanasha. Happy 25th birthday. Welcome to the... Apo. Tuko apo mbele ako. So, married women. I'm so happy for you that you're married. All of you. But let me ask you something. Can you share your husbands with single ladies? Can you? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> well, Mama, Madam Boss Munyewe Akote, Anauliza, she asks you to share your husband with single women. Let me quote what she said. Not my words, but Akote's word. Don't come here and start introducing yourselves to us. Oh, leave, leave my husband alone. Oh, leave my husband alone. Which husband is this that, you, that is yours? You have been with them all the time during Corona. Can't you be helped? She is the president of baby mamas anyway. So can't you be helped? Kuna atuwa, naona, naona kuna masingo ladies wako ready kusaidia married women. If you're married, would you share your husband? If I was married, I would never share my wife. I would never share my wife. Finally, I hear that there are people who are still watching the English Premier League game. As in guys, honestly. Especially Man United and City fans. Hi. Are you still going to win the league this season? I'm, uh, what's, what's happening? Anyway, <laughs> the greatest club of all time. And get this. The greatest club of all time won it with seven games to spare. Musilete makasiriko. Police. Musilete makasiriko. Hmm. Mufilivo. So guys, thank you so much for waiting. This week's shout out goes to Robert Mudama in the diaspora. Thank you so much for your support for always watching our videos. And Julius Mogeto in Nairobi. Thank you so much for sharing our content. So please keep watching our videos and please subscribe to our channel. 
share give it give this video a thumbs up and uh, we will um, say asante god will bless you my name is jack booty see you next time peace